Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of percent increase and decrease and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we have a simple problem of something, let's say it's a TV. The original price is $300, the sale price is $225. You want to know how much percent off did they take? What was the percent decrease? So there's two different ways that we can solve this. So first uh, we can use the difference method. So what we do is we figure out, well, what's the difference between 300 and 225? So how much money did they actually take off? So we're going to do a little math here, do a little regrouping, and that's going to be fine. So that's 75 bucks off. So 75 bucks off. And what we do is we say, well, how much money is reduced or how much money's changed, $75, and you turn it into a fraction of the numerator is going to be your change, and then your denominator is going to be your original. So what was the original price? Well, the original price was 300. So now we've got a fraction of 300 over 75, and then what we need to do is we simply need to reduce and so if we don't know, we know both of those can be reduced by 25, right? So let's at least start there. So that's going to be 3, and there's 4 25s and 100. So there's going to be 12 25s and 300 divided by 3 again. And that's going to get you 1 fourth. So we get a fraction. So now we just need to turn that into a percent. And most of us know that as one of our benchmark fractions. That equals 25% off. So that was a 25% off sale. The other way that we could do it is we could just make a proportionality. So we've got our uh, original price or, or underneath our sale price. So we're going to keep our total or our original price on the bottom as the denominator here because that is going to equal 100% of our cost. So 100% of the cost is the original price. And so we're going to use cross multiplication here to see what this equals. So 225 times 100, that's going to be pretty easy. I'll just add the two zeros there. And that's going to equal 300, we'll call it x. 300x, which means we simply divide both sides by 300. That's quite a lot, but let's just go ahead and... Uh, Let's drop off two zeros there because we can do that by dividing both sides by 100. So really it's going to be 3 into 225. And so 3 is going to go into, that's going to be 21. And that is, there we go, 15. So that's going to go in five times. And so what we see here is, let me rewrite this. We've got this right here. That's going to end up being 75 over 100, which means this is 75% of the original cost, because that's what that equals 75%, which means the percent change was going to equal the other 25%. Let's look at another example. What if our price increased? We went from 60 up to 72. Well, we could do that same thing. Let's use the difference method. Let's see, what is our change? So it actually went up $12, right? So we're going to have our change over our original. So that's going to end up being 12 over 60. And we can reduce that by dividing by 12s because we know our 12s. And that's going to make 1 fifth, which is 20%. So that's actually a 20% increase to go from $60 up to $72. We can also do the same thing uh, with our proportion, right? So we've got 62, uh, 72 over 60. Remember, we're going to keep our original down at the bottom because that's 100% of the original cost. Do a little bit of cross multiplication. So 60x is going to equal 7200. So we simply divide both sides by 60. Right, and let's go ahead and drop that. So we got 6 into 720, and that's going to be, bring down this, that's a 2, and that's going to be a 0. So 120, it's 120 over 100, which means it is 20% over.